Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this simple, easy, no sew mask that you can put a filter and a nose piece in. I don't currently have the nose piece, but as you can see I'm talking to you, my glasses are not fogging up. I have good coverage all around under here and it takes 10 minutes to make. I'm going to show you how right now. Whoops. All you will need is right here on the table here you will need an old t-shirt. You'll need something to make a, to draw around about this size would be, whoops, about this size would be good. One sheet of computer printer paper, a pen, a marker, doesn't matter the color, a uh, pair of scissors, and a ruler. And this is the um, pattern that we're going to make. We're going to make a pattern that looks like that. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. If you also want to have the filter, this is what I use for a filter. This is from the dollar store recyclable bag. It is a um, print, uh, not, it's not woven. <laughs> I don't know if it's molded, it's not woven. So you could pour water here and it won't come through right away, which means it gives you the protection in, um, in case. And don't forget, these are just cotton and you know they don't hold a lot of protection against water or, or infection getting through, but this is gonna be the thing that makes a difference. And if you want a nose piece, all it takes is just a pipe cleaner. Just like that, I'll show you how to fold it up and how to use it, and we'll do that in a sec. All right, so the first thing we do is we take our piece of paper, and we're going to fold it in half just like this. And we're going to fold it in half again just like this. We're going to take our serve. You can use a coaster, or you can use the bottom of an ashtray, as long as it's about this size. This It needs to be able to touch both sides. And you put it up to the edge, and you take your pen and you trace around it. So you get that. And you take your scissors and you cut that out. There you go. So you are left with this, which is what we want. So then we take our ruler, and we're going to go an inch and a half in on either side. So, this way. so you measure from here. You just put a mark so it's an inch and a half in. Same thing on the other side. And here, you don't have to be as precise as you might think, but you just have to draw going to be the ear hole. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, you can see that's probably hard to cut, but it's going to be easy. You do is you fold it over like this. And you cut these out. I'm doing this fast, so it might be a little rough. Both sides. Yeah, okay, get that screwed up. And you have your pattern. This is your pattern. And I'm going to show you what to do with it in a sec. Okay, so you make sure your t shirt is nice and flat, it's not no creases anywhere. Pick a spot that you want a spot that's solid. If it's an old shirt, if it's got holes, obviously don't do it there. You lay down your pattern as such. Maybe I'll get that into it. Okay. You take your marker. I wouldn't suggest a permanent marker, and I'll tell you why. Because this marker will get will wash off when you wash it. A permanent marker will stay, so it might look weird. But you can put that on the inside, but we're going to look at it. We're going to do it like this. Um, you know, I might come up a little higher even because I want to have maybe make another one there. So you don't want to waste the shirt. So we're actually we're gonna go like that, and then you just trace it out like that, like so. I'm not gonna trace the whole thing. I'm gonna stop in a sec, but just trace it out. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done. 
I wanted to add something that I forgot, but when you're doing the tracing, like here it is, it's traced out, that's what we'll cut from. When you're doing it, if you have a bigger, wider face, what I do is I, I uh, make this measurement here, and then over here, I'll, I'll extend it an inch. Slide this over, and then trace over here and extend it along. But in this case, I didn't do that. So now we're going to cut this out. Now, if you want to save this piece here, which I do, just cut along. By the way, if you have pins for sewing, you can pin it up so that it stays. I don't, and I haven't had any trouble keeping it, but you can pin it up so that it'll stay. So you cut along here, cut this away. Then just to get this stuff out of the way, just cut up here right through the shirt. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to do that and be right back. All right, so I've cut it out. It's right here. So in essence, I've just cut out two masks. So that's good for two masks because it's double-sided, right? So you take the rest of this and you can put it to the side. And then I'll show you. Um, I'm going to cut out the rest. I'll go into detail and I'll be right back. So that's what you do. You cut all around. And then I'll be right back. So there you go. I've got it cut out. I did one other tip, if you have a longer face, you might extend on the bottom here. So you uh, not on both uh, both sides, but you extend down a half an inch or an inch, and it'll cover you a little better under the chin. That's kind of what I do, but I'm showing you basically for most people how this will work. Now, the same way we did the other cutout for the um, ear pieces there, we're going to do the same thing here. So you take it and you fold it carefully so you don't have any creases because that's going to screw it up. And that is even. And then you fold it again. So exactly the same. So that the markings that you put are there. It may be a little thick to do the two of them at the same, at the same time. We'll see. Anyway, so you cut it out like that. I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. So I've done the cutouts. So we just unfold it again. And you see, there's your mask. You stretch it, stretch it out a little bit. Best if you can use a little bit, if you have uh, material with a little bit of spandex in it, makes a difference. But this is 100% cotton, and it works fine. Um, I, I don't have any problems with mine. So just give me a sec. I'll adjust the camera, and I'll show you what it looks like. So before I put them on, I just want to show you what I was talking about. You can see the one on the bottom that I made uh, the other day. It's a little wider. It's that inch wider. And you see the extension down here. And when I put this one on, you'll see what I mean. So depending on your face, it's very important. So if you have a wider head, then you're going to want to extend that. Um, especially if you're, if you're using spandex, then no problem. But if you're using just a regular t-shirt, that extra inch is going to make a difference. And down on the bottom... I found that these, like this for a longer face or uh, an adult face, you need this extension to make sure you have the good coverage. So as you can see, it fits me, but it's a little small. That's why I had to figure the extension and the, um, a little bit longer underneath. I'm going to show you the other one. So here you can see how it fits a lot better. This is a perfect fit. And uh, under the chin, it, fits, it just fits a lot better. So when you have a bigger face, just do the extension underneath and extend it out one inch. There you go. I'll be right back to show you how to put the insert. All right. So we take that material. So you take one of these cheap reusable bags, whatever. Mine's from a dollar store. You cut it out so that it, you know, it'll fit in there where your mouth is and your nose is so you're protected. You put it a little bit over this crease here. You take a pipe cleaner. And it needs to be, oops, I'll take another one. <laughs> so um, three and a half inches is going to be perfect for the nose piece. I've done some research. <laughs> so you just fold it over. It's the three and a half inches. And then twist it so that you don't get any of that wire sticking into you. Just twist it up. And then, because we're not sewing anything, there's no sewing involved. 
And, and I'll have to admit, you have to readjust it every time you use it. But once it's on, it stays in place and it doesn't move around. You put it in the middle, because you want that in the middle. And just roll that into the material for the filter till it at the crease. And then just fold this over. Just like that, so it's all it's perfectly there. And I'm going to just adjust the camera and show you how to put it on. Okay, so you take it. So this is where the nose piece is. So you want to put that on first and, and adjust it to your nose. Don't put it up too high, especially if you have glasses. But down here on your nose, you put one of the ear pieces on. You put the other ear piece on. And voila. Now I've tested this out. You can adjust it around your eyes just to make sure that you know you can see well. I've tested this out. I've taken my dog out for a walk twice on two occasions. That's 20 minutes each, and it did not move. It didn't um, didn't fall out. The, the, nothing inside fell out. The nose piece was good. Everything was good. You can go shopping in this. You can you know they're easy to make. That fell off because I was adjusting it. And uh, you bring a couple of them with you, and if you have to change them, you change them. But they're really easy. It takes minutes, uh, an old t-shirt, a few things, and you have a face mask. They're saying now it gives you 75% protection, and that's, uh, I think with my insert, it makes it even a little bit more, personally. And I think you can go shopping, and you can do all these things. So my dog was just letting you know what she thinks. So yeah, now that everything's opening up a little bit, and people are out and about, and you got to shop, I feel safe with this. They're suggesting you do this. I know places like Costco won't let you in without one of these. Uh, at the very minimum, a homemade one. And so I think it's really good. So if um, I hope you enjoy that. I hope it helps you out. I hope you benefit from it and start using them. Wear masks. It's really important. If we're all wearing masks, it reduces the chance of getting the infection for everybody. And I think that's a good thing. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, give it a try. Try it out at home. It does not take long, and it's safe. So I don't know if you guys are hockey fans, but if you if you are, subscribe and ring the notifications bell. It's going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge right here at Talk and Habs because I'm a hockey channel. Uh, but I discovered that, and I thought I'd put it out there and let everybody see, and hopefully you can make your own mask. It's not easy to find them everywhere, and... Um, I do it. That's what I do. I make my own masks and I feel a lot safer. And I think I am a lot safer. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Like I said, give a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you next time right here at Talking Habs. Bye, everybody. I always say peace out.